Well, Chase Evans caught up with two special teammates and twin sisters who were a big part of this historic season. Well, thank you, Roger. Joining us now in the studio are sisters Ray and Becca Brandis, the dynamic duo from the volleyball team this season. It's been uh, a week since the national tournament in Sioux City, Iowa girls. Uh, kind of a, a disappointing end into the season, but only one team wins it all, they say. So 36-4 and four overall. What do you take most from this season, uh, Becca? Of course, this is Becca. This is Ray. They're twins, so uh, we're uh, got to talk a little bit about that later. But, Becca, what do you take most from this season? Um, talking about not really the volleyball aspect of it all is just the kind of relationships that you come away with from this season. Um, Iowa is kind of a place even where you – solidify your relationships even more it's kind of like the last hurrah I guess you'd mm -hmm. say so you just whereas you're like focused on volleyball you're also really just appreciating everyone that mm -hmm. is there with you and just the process that you've all gone through to get there mm -hmm. take us through that uh, kind of the last day of the tournament out there Ray uh, such a tough turnaround you guys had to play a tiebreaker against the Masters you actually played them twice in one night you guys have playing about midnight kind of take us through that yeah, well, we played them the first time, and we came out really strong, and then we kind of just fell apart towards the end a little bit, and they started playing better, too. And so when we came back, we were ready. We were ready to take them on, but they played their game, and we just didn't get off to a good start. And once you don't get off to a good start against good teams, it's hard to come back. So mm -hmm. it was they frustrating. They got on a roll. Yeah, they did. Yeah, that can <laughs> certainly happen at tournaments like that. Oh, yeah. You guys are two of the four juniors uh, joined by Christine Egbrecht, who was actually the, the player of the year in the Crossroads yes. League. So you guys have a, a pretty good group coming into this next season mm -hmm. um, for graduating seniors. But you guys are going to be two of the ones that are really being called on. Uh, you guys pretty excited about next season? Yeah, for sure. It'll be an interesting battle. But um, – It'll just be fun to see what we can do again next year. Like, I think we're just going to keep working to get to nationals every year. Mm -hmm. what, um, talk a little bit about uh, your background in volleyball. You guys ne didn't necessarily have a volleyball family. You guys grew up playing uh, three different sports, basketball, volleyball, and softball in high school. But uh, who was the more competitive one, you think, Becca? Oh, definitely Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Not even close. Ray <laughs> makes everything into a game. Everything is into a competition, whereas I like competition, but I also... Mm -hmm. Not as hardcore about it either. Yeah. So <laughs> you're very much your own person. You guys are talking about a little bit. Um, yes. Just uh, talk about that. You guys are actually sweet together, so you're still around each other a lot. Mm -hmm. um, do you guys like either read, read each other's minds out there on the court? Like you guys gotta have a different uh, element out there with you guys. I think it definitely just helps playing with someone for so long and just knowing that we kind of know what each other's strengths and weaknesses are, so we play off each other pretty well. I mean, mm -hmm. obviously there's still problems within that when you or in tough games, but otherwise, like, we did just play well together since we played together so long. Mm -hmm. uh, you're an athletic training uh, major. What is your major again, Becca? I'm elementary education and exceptional needs education. Okay, so you guys uh, looking to go back to Wisconsin, Twin Lakes, Wisconsin, or what do you, after graduation, you got one year left, but I'm maybe, maybe thinking too far in advance, <laughs> but have you guys thought about that? I, I have grad school afterwards, yeah. hopefully, because I'm pre-physical therapy also, so I don't, I'm thinking about Wisconsin, but I'm looking at other places, too. Mm -hmm. So, Mine's pretty open. I'm mm -hmm. basically going to go where the jobs are. <laughs> mm -hmm. Exactly, you know. exactly. Well, 36-4, and four, Can you? I don't know if you guys can top that, but I think, you, I mean, with the guys returning, you guys got next year, could be a pretty special group. What is Coach Moats saying? You guys had a kind of end-of-season meeting. What was kind of the consensus thought after this season? What, what was uh, you take away? Uh, we're definitely going to come back stronger. I think we have some great, we were just talking about some recruits are coming this weekend, and we have some great talent coming mm -hmm. in. And so that's just going to add to our team. And while we're going to miss the girls that we are losing, it's also um, exciting for this next year, exciting because we'll be in the mm -hmm. leadership roles and we'll get to the challenges and joys that kind of come with that. And mm -hmm. So it's, it's going to be fun. Mm -hmm. but, definitely. Yeah. We'll keep an eye out for you. It's going to be a very exciting season. Well, thank you, Becca and Ray, again for joining us. Roger, we're going to throw it back to you.